Mortal Kombat Science Corner with everyone's favorite undead ninja, Scorpion! Aw, oh, shucks, you kids are too kind. Welcome back to Mortal Kombat Science Corner, the show where I take the decades of knowledge I've gained from ruthlessly ripping opponents limb from limb in the Mortal Kombat tournaments to teach kids all about the wonders of the human anatomy. And what a wonder the human body is, made up of so many interesting and unique parts. Now, can anyone tell me what organ is responsible for pumping blood and oxygen throughout the body? The brain. No. Lungs. Getting closer. The heart. Correct! It's the heart. Now, many of you may think you know what the human heart looks like, but in reality, it's quite a bit different looking than the candies you eat on Valentine's Day. Here to help me demonstrate is my special friend, Sub-Zero! Um, what's going on? You said you needed to see me about something important? And what could be more important than stimulating the curious minds of the youth? What? <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact, kids, the human heart isn't just any old organ. It's also a powerful muscle that beats an average of 60 to 100 times a minute. Isn't that just incredible? Yeah! Now, who can tell me what a skeleton is? A skeleton is what you dress up as on Halloween so you can get all the good candy. Oh, isn't that just precious? But the real purpose of the skeleton is to be a support system for the body, protecting your vital organs and giving your body its shape. Otherwise, you'd be a big old pile of human jelly stuck on the floor. Whoa! <laughs> now, does anyone know how many bones there are in a human skeleton? Five? Nope, there's quite a bit more than that. Eleventy? That is not a real number. Infinity! Sorry, that's not correct either. But don't worry, kids. I have another special friend who's going to help us find out the real answer. Everyone give a warm Science Corner welcome to Johnny Cage! No, no, I don't want to. I saw what he did to Sub-Zero. Get my agent on the phone. Get over here! <laughs> Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 206. There are 206 bones in the human skeleton. Thanks, Johnny. Wow. Well, we've been having quite the fun time learning, haven't we, kids? Yeah! Glad to hear you're enjoying yourselves, because the fun isn't over just yet. You know, even though the average human being is only around 5 foot 9 inches in length, nature managed to pack a surprising amount of stuff into the body. Can you believe that hidden within each and every one of those fragile little meat sacks you call a body, there are tons of organs, billions of nerves, and over 60,000 miles of blood vessels? That's over twice the circumference of planet Earth. Impressive as that is, it's sadly far too long for a practical demonstration, so let's stick to something a little more manageable. Now, who wants to see how long the human intestines are? Great. Well, we better get another special friend out here to help us find out. Everyone give it up for Melina! <laughs> Melina, my dear friend. You're gonna rip my guts out and do the endless scarf routine with them, aren't you? I most certainly am. <laughs> wow, they just keep going and going, don't they? <laughs> Oh, oh, slippery, watch out, you're in the splash zone, Timmy. <laughs> when fully stretched out, the intestines can measure over 20 feet from end to end. Guess you could say Melina really did have a lot of guts. <laughs> Thanks, Terry. Well, kids, that's all the time we have today. I hope you enjoyed yourselves as much as I did. We'll see you next time, where we'll explore how many seconds a human head remains conscious after it's removed from the body. Spoiler alert, it's longer than you think!